guys, it's Heather here, and I wanted to do a quick video talking about the loot bonus that's available for the Builder Base update in Clash of Clans. And this is what's really important because if you're not battling throughout the day and getting yourself to a higher trophy level, then you're gonna end up with significantly less loot and it's gonna take you a lot longer to be able to get your haul maxed out. So it's a pretty good incentive to get yourself to that next trophy level before your versus battle rewards starts again. And I also want to give my feedback about the loot cap itself and the completely different change to the way that we play Clash of Clans. Um, I think that this was something that was going to be expected because it, as we were playing it in beta, a lot of us gave the same feedback, had the same complaints about the loot cap because it's such a vastly different way than we're used to playing Clash of Clans, but this is a completely different system. And so I think once you get into it, once you give it a few days, once you understand how fast you're actually upgrading and how fast you're actually progressing, you might be able to have a little bit different perspective on where you're going with this because that's where I felt I got to. You know, my initial feedback to Clash of Clans was that three wins uh, was not enough, that that should be increased to at least five, possibly more, comparing it to Clash Royale. I felt like the time between battle reward periods was just too long. I wanted to have that um, happen more often throughout the day. I wanted more incentive to come back and do more versus battles throughout the day. And the feedback that I got from that was that the incentive to do more battles throughout the day isn't as clear as we see it in Clash of Clans, that there isn't a continuous loot that's given to us. The incentive is to get your trophy count higher. And my feedback to that was I did have concerns about how difficult it was going to be to get your trophy level higher. And what I'm finding now that we're playing the live version is it's not that difficult. I got to over 700 yesterday just playing casually. I have people who tweet me who are just builder hall level three who are over 1200 so it's really not that difficult to be able to get to a higher reward level the higher your trophies are the better the competition is and the more loot you're going to get so i think we're really too close in the early stages of this that we're having the same kind of reaction that i initially had but i also see that hey if it, it doesn't work and the community just has a really tough time with it and the majority of the players just don't want that then yeah they're gonna adapt they'll adapt and they'll change things to make things right for the community. I just don't see that happening anytime soon until they've had more time to gather data on it. One of my suggestions that I'd still like to see implemented is giving some small resource reward for at least the first 20 wins in a 24 hour period, just depending on your trophy level. I think that would just give slightly more incentive to keep battling, give you more incentive to keep building up your trophies, where it's hard to see that incentive that's gonna come the next day when you start doing your battle rewards from just gaining trophies alone. The other thing I see with this is it's not supposed to take away and make you leave Clash of Clans and your home base all and clan wars and everything all together. This is just supposed to be another thing that you can do. So yes, we're super excited. Yes, we want to grind everything out. But I could also see that if there was no loot cap, people would get burned out really fast to have that mindset that, hey, I need to keep grinding this out until I can get to Builder Hall level five. I want to get there in three days and not in three months. And that's just not how Clash of Clans works. That's not how any of these games work. And then of course there's always going to be the complaints about greedy supercell. Well hey, this is an update that took a long time to create and it needs to be some kind of pay to play payout. So um, yeah, you can play for free. That's not costing you anything. You're gonna be able to get to Builder Hall level five, just like the people who are gemming. It's just gonna take you a little bit longer. So it feels like the right kind of balance is there. I don't feel deflated that I'm never going to be able to reach that point. And so yeah, it's worth it for me to still be a free to play player. But at the same time, there's people who will gem it. And that's great because the more support that Supercell gets, the more game that we're going to get from them too. So I'm cool with that as well. So yeah, that's my take on it. And I know that I'm being positive, but I think a lot of that has to do with I've had a lot more time to absorb this than you guys have. So hopefully just give it time and you'll get to a better place with it too. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. So if you like this video, be sure to like it. And if you want to see more stuff on Clash of Clans and the Builder Hall, be sure you subscribe to me. I'm going to be coming back at you again soon. I'm really loving this update. I'm loving the new content it's providing and all this cool stuff that I get to talk about with you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.